the Toyota 2000 GT was a tiny, exquisite Japanese sports car with promises of speed and beauty. And it was a great car. But in this video, we are talking about a Shelby version. Yes, the legendary Carol Shelby, the man who sculpted Mustangs into Cobras and turned dreams into nitro field reality, modified his own 2000 GTs for racing. But before we can talk about the 2000 GT by Shelby, let's do a quick history lesson on the normal version. Born in 1967, the 2000 GT emerged from a bold vision to create a Japanese sports car that could compete with the European elite. Toyota entrusted Yamaha with their expertise in motorcycles and engines to help craft this automotive dream. The result was a stunning machine, showcasing a low slung curvaceous body sculpted by Satoru Okada, the man behind the iconic Datsun 240Z. Unlike its rivals, the 2000 GT opted for a front mid-engine layout, further adding to its exotic appeal. Beneath the hood lay a 2-liter dual overhead cam inline 6 engine, a technological marvel in its own right. Yamaha poured their racing pedigree into this power plant, equipping it with dual overhead cams, aluminium Hemi heads and triple side draft carburetors. This potent combination pumped out 150 horsepower, a respectable figure for its time, especially considering the lightweight chassis. The driving experience was pure, analog exhilaration, a precise manual transmission and rear-wheel drive setup demanding driver engagement at every turn. However, the 2000 GT wasn't built for mass consumption. Toyota, aware of its high production costs and exotic nature, kept the numbers limited, only 351 units were ever produced, each handcrafted with meticulous attention to detail. This exclusivity, coupled with its undeniable beauty and performance, quickly catapulted the 2000 GT into the realm of automotive unicorns. But then, Shelby enters the picture. He saw what others didn't, a potential giant slayer in this petite Japanese masterpiece. He secured a deal with Toyota and suddenly, the 2000 GT once a beauty queen was training for the gladiatorial arena of American ACCA racing. Shelby's team weren't there to play dress up. They massaged the 2000 GT's curves, optimizing aerodynamics while respecting its inherent grace. The engine, already a fire-breathing marvel, received subtle tweaks to sharpen its bite. And the result was a lean, mean racing machine that looked like it just stepped out of a vintage Bond film. Sure, the Porsches dominated the tracks, season champions guarding their turf with the ferocity of territorial lions, but the Shelby modified 2000 GT never became just another statistic. It battled hard, its exhaust note a defined roar against established kings. And while it may not have climbed to the highest podium step, it earned the respect of every driver who witnessed its tenacity. This isn't just a race car though, it's a living legend. And just three of these shall be tuned 2000 GTs were ever made. And after each racing days, chassis number MF10-10001 was meticulously restored, pampered back to its original glory. This phoenix has graced prestigious auto shows, even claiming a coveted Concords Award, a testament to its enduring beauty and historical significance. Now this car sold in 2022 at auction for a price of $2.53 million. That's an insane amount which speaks on the significance of this car. The Toyota 2000 GT by Shelby is more than a collector's item, it's a symbol, it's a story of Japanese engineering audacity taking on American racing giants, of beauty refusing to be confined to garages, of history refusing to fade into dusty archives. It's a reminder that sometimes the most breathtaking pleasures aren't found on podiums, but in the audacity to dream, the courage to compete, and the enduring appeal of a machine that dared to be different. So whether you're an octane fueled enthusiast, a history buff with a love for classic cars, or simply someone who appreciates the finer things in life, keep an eye on this automotive rarity. It will go up for auction once again, and I'm pretty sure the prices will keep on rising. 
But at the end of the video, please let me know what you think of this car and what you think of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.